All right, HNT is at 40, finally. It's getting a little worried there. Um, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, we're gonna be holding helium for a while. And even that said, we don't know what's gonna happen once redenomination occurs, uh, if it ever occurs. I assume it's going to occur, but who knows when. Uh, that being said, still trying to figure out how I'm gonna roll out some of my miners that are still sitting in my house. Uh, I had planned to assert them in locations that are near to my house. And luckily for me, and you know, many of you don't have this situation, uh, I have a lot of open space around me. Some of it, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to access. Uh, much of it certainly is uh, open space that uh, is public, uh, you know, public parks. I, I probably can't drop my helium miners there, but I do have a few spaces right near my house, which uh, are owned by the HOA, which is open space that nobody ever goes to. It's just, just you know, open wide space that actually has a great view of downtown, which is why I'm thinking at this point, yeah, I'm gonna put some helium miners there. Now I have a few places that are also nearby that are, well, a little more interesting and I, I do want to try to uh, put my helium miners there but to do this whole process requires me to one be able to give them internet access so I need to start thinking about how I'm going to have a uh, hotspot that is not relayed in other words with uh, port forwarding on 44158 or at least having a static IP address and then the other aspect to all of this is uh, being able to have solar power. Now, I've been looking into solar power for a while, um, haven't quite worked out the solutions that I like, but I'm gonna show you some of this today. But before I do, I wanna show you some of these locations that I really wanna put a helium hotspot. So uh, let's go check them out. Okay, so as we get around this curve, uh, you see that ridge right there? Yep. I want to put it on the top of that ridge. I think that ridge is a great location. I see people who maybe they're spelunking or something, but all the time I see cars parked around here and uh, while well, it says private property, don't enter, I figure people must be entering all the time. They're, you know, trying to keep you from uh, hurting yourself. I get that, but that is a perfect place to put a uh, remote helium hotspot miner up there. It's gonna get a lot of rewards. It's gonna be able to see way farther than uh, my current helium hotspots can. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out how to put it up on that ridge. Okay, so uh, I don't know whose permission I would need to get, but I wanna put a miner up there. That is where I'd want it to go. I don't know if I need to call Pipeco or the Rastalon Development Corporation. Um, I'm on uh, State Highway 72 here, and that hits a lot of downtown, uh, both in the uh, red area and in the green area over there. So, so yeah, yeah, if I can get a miner up there, I want to make that happen. I mean, I'm not ready to come in here yet because I haven't figured out my setup, but ready to talk to people. And the third area would be some of the open space around my house. Now, that's my house, and I don't put anything on the roof, especially because of the HOA around here, but we have a lot of open land that is owned by the community, uh, the HOA, and uh, nobody walks through it unless there's a trail. So there's plenty of areas here that I could just set something up and it gets a great view of downtown, you can see everything, and uh, hopefully we'll get a lot of witnesses and rewards. So these are the locations that I'm looking at, but I need to set up a system to, uh, well, remotely place them. So this is initially why I got the Jackery here, um, Jackery 240 with the uh, Solar Sag 60. Um, it says it does 68 watt output 
and uh, this is a 240 watt uh, or watt hours, um, which comes out to be about a 20 amp hour battery. So I wanted to test it to see how well I would be able, without actually getting a whole system specific to setting outdoors somewhere, I figured I could, you know, use this to power my uh, computer or something else when I'm on the road. But um, this gave me an idea of how well it works out. So let's talk about that. Okay, so before we get into this, I just want to point out that I am not an electrician. Uh, some of the numbers I don't really know. I'm just, you know, looking at things online, doing research, doing comparables, trying to figure it out for myself. So one of the main ones that I've been looking at is IoT Off Grid. They've got some uh, outdoor enclosures specifically to, well, power via solar panels. And the, uh, the highest end one in terms of wattage was this one right here. Uh, the uh, IP66 NEMA 4X PC plus ABS weatherproof minor enclosure powered by solar energy 60 watt version 2. Now they're out of stock so you know that was part of the reason why I started trying to do my own research. Maybe it's worth just buying it directly. I say hey if that's all you want to do sure buy it directly but here's the thing. So I wanted to do a comparison with this and at $5.99, I was like, you know what, uh, I'm just going to spend, uh, it was actually on sale Black Friday, so about $150 for the uh, Jackery Explorer 240 portable power station. And uh, it was another 100 bucks for the uh, Solar Sega, Sega uh, 60 watt solar panels. So I bought them and uh, they lasted maybe a day and a half. And then I ran out of power that night, and that made me think, okay, maybe I need to double the battery power. Now, maybe that's crazy. Maybe I don't need to double it. Um, but uh, I decided I want to go at least from 60-watt solar panels to 100-watt solar panels. Maybe you can get away with a 20-amp battery. And that being said, uh, this says it's 16.8 amp hours, but that's at 14.4 volts. I'm thinking we're probably going to use a 12 volt system, uh, leave it at a 12 volt battery. Uh, so even though it says 240 watt hours, and that's interesting there because when I had it all plugged in, I noticed that having, uh, say, a phone, uh, old broken iPhone and uh, my rack wireless miner plugged in, it was getting about 10 amps. It was pulling about 10 amps. So I kind of figured 10 amps, that means it's going to last uh, 24 hours, right? And it lasted a little longer than that, but really, don't you want something that'll last maybe three days of not great uh, sunlight? You want to make sure that it never goes out, right? So that's why I'm saying maybe, maybe double everything. So yeah, okay, 60 watts. So in doing some of this, I compared these things, like I said, with this setup here. And if you look at it, we can go into the details on the right here, you can go into the specifications, uh, but I'm just gonna pull it directly from one of their photos here. So this is a great photo they have showing that they're using an 18 amp hour lithium ion battery. Uh, they have some sort of DC current regulator. They have a 10 amp solar charge controller uh, and those are the main things we want to think about. Uh, so uh, current regulator, uh, charge controller, battery, and solar panels, right? Four things, that's what we want to look at. And when I thought about it that way, not, not so bad, not so hard to do. Let's, let's take a look. So the first thing I was looking at were solar panels. I want standard 100 watt, 12 volt solar panels. Um, looking at these, single panel was like, 100 bucks 100 bucks is not bad but uh doing more research i found that you could actually buy these on amazon and i'm only looking them at them on amazon because it is a cheap and fast way to go well not a cheap way to go if you want to go cheap go buy them on um alibaba or aliexpress but for now i'm just looking at them here because i can get them uh, in a couple days. So I also found that they actually had a kit ready to go with its own 100 watt panel and charge controller. Didn't have the batteries, didn't have the regulator, but that's okay. This 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 is a good start at $122.88. Why not just get the 
basic stuff that I need to get up and running. Now that being said, I wanted to know more about the charge controller. And that charge controller again is a 10 amp, just like what uh, IoT Off-Grid was using, 10 amp solar controller. And there's, I did a little research on the specific one that they have right here. And it is what is known as uh, P, uh, WM or pulse width modulation. That's what it uses in order to control what's happening. Um, that is the cheapest way to go. Uh, it is not necessarily the most efficient way to go, but uh, if you want to go that way, yeah, you can. Another option would be to use something that uses M. PPT. Now, I'm going to be honest, I forget what MPPT means, but uh, that's what my Jackery uses. And uh, see, it says here, the Jackery Explorer 240 has a built-in MPPT controller for maximum eco-friendly solar recharging efficiency. So, yeah, that's, you know, that's what I wanted. And I understand that that might be 30% better in terms of its regulation than uh, the uh, PPT. PWM, so, sorry, pulse width modulation, PWM here. Uh, so if that's what you want, I mean, it's up to you. you. Maybe you want to start here. It's cheap, right? And if you want, pay a little extra later on and say, I'm going to try out a different charge controller, see how that works out. I'd rather get all the right stuff right at the beginning, but I got to decide what I want. Okay, that all being said, uh, it looks simple enough, right? right? Like you go in here, uh, you can see the, the first holes here. I'm just going to look at it on the small one. But the first two holes are where you plug in uh, it to the solar panels. The second two are plugging into the battery. And the third to the DC regulator. And that's, that's pretty much the system. Okay, that being said, uh, we still need the battery. I don't know what battery you're looking at. I'm thinking paying the extra money, getting like a 50 amp hour. But if you want, I mean, easy to look at 20 amp hour. There's a lot more of those. $169 for this one right there. You may want to be sure it is the lithium ion battery that you want, or at least make sure that it's designed like this one here. It's a display for AGM gel flooded and lithium batteries. Uh, is this for lithium batteries? Uh, I am not sure. So that's one thing you want to check. You want to make sure that the charge controller is designed for the battery type you're using. Okay, last thing I'm going to mention is those controllers uh, for DC conversion of power from 12 volts to 5 volts because your systems like the Rack Wireless um, Helium Hotspot, if you look at what it's plugged into the wall with, it's 5 volts, 3 amps. So something like this, is a great option to plug it into the wall. And if your hotspot to give it internet power, or sorry, internet um, uh, internet access is also uh, a five volt system, then you know hook up two of these and I think you'd be good to go. In fact, these are two pieces here. So that being said, you know, looking at numbers uh, in terms of how much this is all costing, uh, 122 uh, and 88 cents, uh, let's just say 123, uh, 133, 136. So 136 here. Uh, if you're going to get the battery here, 169. So 146, uh, to 226. So uh, it's it's still going to be cheaper than um, buying this. But of course, it doesn't come with. Uh, I assume the stand or the metal or the plastic box i haven't looked into all of those i'm going to assume those things are not that expensive to buy but i hope this gets you started in thinking about what's out there and what you can do to make this again i'm not an engineer but it looks fairly plug and play um like i said everything's going into that solar charger controller uh Two plugs going into the solar panels, two plugs going into the battery. Yes, red for positive, black for negative. Uh, and then the load, it's a 12 volt load. It's not 110 watts. It's not gonna blow your, it's, it's not gonna hurt you. 12 volts is not gonna hurt you. Um, so you're using a 12 volt battery, um, plugging it in, and then again, bringing that voltage down from 12 to uh, five uh, volts. 
Yeah, sounds good. So I hope this is helpful for some of you thinking about doing this. I'm still doing my research. If you have any thoughts about it, please feel free to post it in the comments. And please, if you like content like this, do like and subscribe. All right, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great evening. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go see Spider-Man. That's, that's my plan for the evening. Take care.